From the previous slide, superposition was taking multiple Poisson processes and bringing them together. The inverse of that is decomposition, and decomposition takes a single Poisson process and breaks it into pieces. So here is the uh, theorem, again, not stated but not proven. A Poisson process with rate lambda, whose events are subdivided into two processes by the results of independent Bernoulli P trials, yields two Poisson processes with rate 1 minus P times lambda and P lambda. So the story here is you're starting out with a Poisson process. So here is time, here is zero. And every single time there is an event, what you do is you flip a biased coin. And it has probability of P of coming up, let's say, heads. And if it's heads, then you say this is one type of process, one type of, say, event. Or with probability 1 minus P, it's a second type of event. Well, that creates two different processes, and both of those processes are Poisson processes, and they have rates 1 minus p times lambda and p times lambda. So Sven and Barry could subdivide their customers by gender, that is male or female, by age, maybe child or adult, or by the product type that they purchase, which is a cup or cone, and that is a way that this can be applied. This is known as decomposition and both superpositioning and decomposition generalize to multiple processes. Even though we're breaking the Poisson process into two pieces here, it could be if we want to roll a die and have six different ways of breaking it down, you can decompose it six ways if you'd like and a generalization of this applies.